When I'm first sitting down with a, a client to have a look at their overall financial strategy, uh, I like to start with what I call the big picture. The big picture is really making sure I've got a, a good snapshot and, and handle on where a client is in their financial world uh, right at the moment. So it's understanding your personal situation is a little bit like it's a business, I guess. So having a look at your asset and liability position, knowing exactly what you own, exactly what you owe. Then looking at your income and your expenses. So what money is coming in? It's going to be your salary and wages or your business income, dividends or distributions or, uh, or profits. Income from assets as well, passive income, interest, uh, dividends from shares or managed fund investments. Uh, or rental properties, anything else that's income coming in. And then I think the hardest part of that personal snapshot is the expense side. Not enough people have a good handle on exactly what they're spending on a regular basis from a personal spending point of view. So that, I find that's the hardest piece of the puzzle. But there's some good tracking tools that we can use to do that. Once we've got that starting point, it's really having a look at that and making sure that as a client, you understand exactly what your financial position is today because often we don't really know what that is. Once we understand where you are now, we want to take a step back and take a, a bit of a helicopter overview of where you're headed. It's easy to get caught up in the day to day and month to month of paying the bills and just going through the motions, you know, saving whatever money's left over going through the end of another year and sort of wondering whether you're really making as much progress as you'd like to be. So the helicopter view allows us to say, okay, well, where are you headed at the moment? In five years, 10 years time, financially, where are you likely to be? So before we start to think about financial strategies, investments, anything like that, just have that big picture view. Because I like to think that you know, that can help give you a bit of clarity around where you're headed. And I find it a real, I guess, a real eye-opening experience for, for most clients. You know, they haven't gone through the process of thinking about what their life is going to be like in, in five or ten years' time. You know, often it's, a, it's something that happens in your life that sort of triggers these thoughts. It's, you know, getting a bit older, it's, you know, the kids leaving home, it might be a health event that, that triggers it, but... The reality is that the earlier you can start thinking about these kind of things, the better it is and the less work you need to put into uh, improving your, your future financial position. So the big picture is a real uh, starting point. Uh, it gives us a good platform then to start thinking more deeply around what sort of strategies we might need to implement uh, from a, a financial point of view. Um, and then into the nitty gritty of, uh, of any uh, investments that might help you uh, implement those strategies and help you get to the uh, position where you're achieving the life that you want to be able to have.